MG Television 12 and TV 97. I am David Leatherwood with the world famous, the, the Vina Flash, Randall Lindsay on the camera this afternoon. And we're here in Iuka as we're bringing you Region 1 for a baseball action between the Tishomingo County Braves as they are hosting the Amory Panthers in Region 1 for a play this afternoon. So this game is for some of the marbles. You got to finish in the top four to get a playoff spot. And we're hoping that uh, we can do that. Uh, this will be a good division a matchup between these two teams here in Iuka. And without our sponsors, we could not bring you this broadcast. So it's my honor to also recognize them as Happy Holla Outdoors. They carry a large variety of gifts. They have seasonal gifts, gifts for the babies, as well as items for pet, a women's boutique, clothing, as well as interior items, a registry, baby registry, bridal registry, I apologize. In the sporting goods section, we offer camo and hunting apparel, guns and ammo, about any caliber configuration you would want. We got supplies for baseball, softball, disc golf, football, and a huge selection with golf apparel and even two golf simulators to check your swing. They're open Monday through Saturday, 9 to 6, closed on Sunday, and on Wednesday, 9 to 5. That's Happy Holla Outdoors in Red Bay, Alabama. The Tishomingo County Electric Power Association would like to remind you we are a member of the TVAE program where TVA will come in and do an energy audit in your home. to see where your energy and where your money is being spent. You can call them at 662-423-3646 during normal business hours. Also, sponsoring this afternoon's game is Triple D's Hardware and Supply at 1510 Battleground Drive in Iuka. They got lumber, hardware, building supplies, now offering patio furniture mulch, and new items are coming daily. They also have rental equipment available, mini excavators, skid steers, trenchers, and hand tools locally owned and operated by Barney and Dusty and Brandon Dick. That's Triple D's Hardware in Iuka. 662-423-1222. Also, Hodges Elect uh, Le yeah, Hodges Electric. Hodges Antiques. They'll buy your unwanted gold and silver jewelry. That's going to be across the street from Shell in Iuka. You can see Mr. Bob Hodges. Call him at 662-424-1007. Also, Sonic and Belmont in Iuka. They are your morning drink stop where you can get a soft drink for 99 cents. You can call them in Iuka at 662-423-9100. And in Belmont, 454-3070. For new home construction and home remodeling, Curtis Construction and Contracting, and no jobs too big or too small, that's Titus Curtis, 662-279-9866 or 662-279-9505. Williams Service Center, located at 1112 West Quitman Street in Iuka. They're open Monday through Friday, 6 to 5, closed on Saturdays. They are a full service center. They have a mechanic on work that will do front end work, oil change, new tires, and alignments. That's Williams Service Center, 662-423-2119. Also, Dr. Cameron Bonds at the North Mississippi Medical Center. Dr. Bonds, his family, and staff wish the best of luck to the Tishomingo County teams. To schedule an appointment, call Dr. Bonds, 662-423-6014. The Tishomingo County School Board and Superintendent Christy Holly would like to wish Tishomingo and Belmont a great school year. Go Cardinals, go Braves. This afternoon, the broadcast is also sponsored by Casey Lott, one of the largest personal injury firm in Northeast Mississippi with attorneys licensed in Mississippi, Tennessee, and Alabama. Casey and his team of attorneys specialize in personal injury and pharmaceutical liability cases. Call Casey for all your legal needs, 662-554-4000. Also, Gatlin Pharmacy. They are Tishomingo County's 340B program. Uh, they'll bring, they'll, they, they do thousands of savings a year to 
the folks in Tishomingo County. We offer better service, friendly, reliable, fast, hometown folks you know and trust. Go see pharmacist Stanley Page to see if he can save you money at Gatlin Pharmacy, your health mart pharmacy, downtown Tishomingo, 662-438-6605. Also, hometown pizza in Burns Burnsville, located at 343 Highway 72 in the East Burnsville Shopping Plaza. Home and owned and operated by Regina James Smith. And now we're having some introductions and we're going to have a first pitch this evening. And the pitch, the balls are sponsored this afternoon by Better Built Homes. And you'll see Mr. Jimmy Arnold as he's going out on the mound. He's going to have the, the first pitch right here to Bo Crumb. And it's a little high for ball number one, but a good job by Mr. Jimmy Arnold from Better Built Homes. And we're about to also have the starting lineups for both of these teams this afternoon. And here comes the Amory lineup. Batting first, number 22, Jack Howell. He's playing center field. Number 21, Braden Moranto. He's playing shortstop. He's a Southern Miss. Come here. Number eight, your designated hitter, Dave McGowan. Number eight, Dave McGowan. He is the designated hitter. Batting fourth. Number five, Ethan Childers. He's playing down at first. Batting fifth, number three, Ace Rock. He's going to be on the mound pitching. Batting six is number six, Paxton Wright. He's going to be playing down at third. Batting seventh is number 13, Jathan Ray. He's playing left field. Right field, I'm sorry. Number seven, Kai Dozier's playing second. Batting ninth is going to be the right fielder. And that's Ben Galt and Sawyer Allman, the number four, is going to be catching this afternoon for the Panthers. And now we're going to have the lineup for the Tishomingo County baseball team. Batting first, number four, shortstop, Jacob Hall. Number four, Jacob Hall, the sophomore, playing shortstop. Batting second will be number one, the junior, Trey Williams. He's playing out in center field. Batting third is going to be 19, Bo Crumb. He's going to be catching this afternoon. He's just a sophomore. <laughs> and number 22, the junior, Jackson Moore, is playing third. 21, the sophomore, Jevin McDuffie, is in the fifth spot. He's going to be down at second. The designated hitter, Batting six is 23, the senior, Braylon Pitts. Batting seventh is going to be the right fielder, senior, number 10, Ashton Hall. And batting eight and number 25, junior Tate Wilson. He's going to be on the mound. Batting ninth is going to be number eight, Caden Ham. He's a junior first baseman. And playing out in left field is going to be number three, Rick Harwell. And we're about to hear the national anthem. And now we'll have the national anthem as the wind's blowing out the south this afternoon. She said, excuse me, it's not working. <clears throat> and when you say that around the coach, all four coaches from Tish look at the press box like we're going, we're, they're sending hand signals up. <laughs> 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 
And we got a crew that's trying to sing it up here in the top of the bleachers. Here we go. And I can promise you that is a rarity here at Tishomingo here in Iuka for the uh, Braves because that always comes off without a hitch. Today was the first time that it did not. But we do appreciate your patience with us as we the wind is blowing out of the south probably about five, six, seven miles an hour. The flag's kind of fluttering left to right. So if you were here at the ball field, the wind's blowing from really from the first baseline out into left field. And that will cause a little bit of a difficulty with fielding the ball once it's hit high in the air in outfield. If you want top-notch internet, no matter where you live in Tishomingo County, Tishomingo Connect is here for you. Call them at 662-423-3646 for details. Good luck to all our Tishomingo County teams from Tishomingo Connect. Also, good luck to the Tishomingo County teams from your Tishomingo County corner, Mac Wildman. Brooks Grocery Store, family-owned and operated, proudly serving the community since 2009. Yet Gary Pounders is out there watching Watching again, I got uh, James Mike Blunt says go Tish. But Brooks has been serving the community since 2009. You can't beat that friendly service and the 128 made here recipes. Brooks makes it easy. That's a big four, 628 South Gloucester Street in Tupelo, just one block north of the hospital. And they've been in that location for 44 years. And they also are right now in the middle of their 44th Blue Maroon sale where the winner eats steak and the loser eats beans. All you got to do to help those teams out. If you're a blue team or a maroon team, as you go by there, tell if I hunt for that salesman that's on that team and they'll get the points for it. And I'm telling you, the winner will eat beans. I mean, the steak and the loser will eat beans. And that's at 628 South Gloucester Street in Tupelo. Remember, you always get more at Dyson Big Four, 888-892-4162 or 662-842-4162. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 22, the center fielder for the Panthers. That's going to be Jack Howe. And that pitch misses on the outside edge. First pitch, 6-0-3. That ball's going to be hit hard. It's in the air, out to right field. Hassan Hall's going to get in and under it, and he's going to make the play for the out. So number 10, Aston Hall makes the first out. And now coming to the plate is going to be another lefty. And it's going to be number 21. It's going to be Braden Marano. He is a he plays shortstop, and he is a tw class of 2025 commit to Southern Mississippi, the Golden Eagles or the Buzzards, whichever one you call them. I got a lot of friends down there, and they say turn the best to the top by George. And that first pitch to the junior is fouled into the backstop for an 0-1 count with one out. And that pitch from Wilson is going to miss outside and low for ball number one.
That piece misses out there as well. So it's a 2-1 count with one out and nobody on. Here in Region 1, 4A play as Tate Wilson's on the hill. That's a good-looking pitch, but it's going to be called a ball. So it's a 3-1 count now. Wilson gets him to drive that ball. It's going to be out in the left field this time. And the left fielder is in and under it. That is Nick Harwell, the senior, number three. So that's out number two. And now coming to the plate is going to be number eight, Dave McGowan. He is the designated hitter this afternoon for the Amory Panthers. He steps in here to the plate with um, two outs and nobody on that ball's going to be foul away out of play over our heads. So that's going to make it a no ball, one strike count with two outs. That pitch is going to miss wide and outside, so it'll be a 1-1 one, one count now. One ball, one strike with two outs. Tate Wilson humming the... Humming the BB this afternoon to Bo Crom, who's catching this afternoon for the Braves. Here's your pitch. He gets him to hit that one in the air. Uh, catcher's going to, Bo Crom's going to get back here by the net. He's dancing around, and that wind does exactly what I said it's going to do. Gets up in the air, but Bo Crom gets the out. So the Cardinals retire the side, three up, three down. And when we come back here, it'll be Jacob Hall, Trey Williams, and Bo Crum. Uh, and that'll be the order coming up for the Braves. Tia Boone, your Tishomingo County Farm Bureau agent, located at 1112 Marie Lane in Iuka. When service is local, service is better. Go with the home team. 662-423-6151. Also, Iuka Animal Clinic, Dr. James Perkins. He's located at Highway 25 South. Healthcare grooming and boarding. His hours are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7 to 5 on Thursday, 7 to 1. Closed on Saturday and Sunday, 662-423-3470. But they also have an after-hours emergency call number. If you have an emergency for your pet, you can reach them at 256-740-4800. Also, Iuka Discount Drug at 1411 West Quitman Street in Iuka. Pharmacist Lee Griffin and Kurt Butler, they offer the ultimate prescription management with the free one-pack program. They also offer free delivery vaccines and are a 340B savings program. 662-423-9039. Taylor's Place. Taylor Epson, he's the owner there at Highway 72 in Burnsville next to the Dollar General. Hours are Tuesday, Thursday, 11 to 7. Friday, Saturday, 11 to 8. He's got fish, hush puppies, fries, onion rings, Italian beef, Philly cheesesteak, the shrimp po' boys, Italian sausage, hamburger, steaks, shrimp dinner, slug burgers, and patty melts. 662-427-0030. The Tishomingo County Republican Party invites you to join them in protecting conservative values. Follow them on Facebook, and that is the Tishomingo County Republican Party. Good luck to the Braves. And now coming to the plate is going to be the leadoff hitter, number four. That's going to be Jacob Hall, the sophomore. Jacob is a shortstop for the Braves. He steps in here to the plate as the top of the order. First pitch is going to be low for a ball. And on the mound for the Panthers is Ace Rock, number five. Yeah, he's going to drip that ball down to the shortstop. Shortstop makes the play, makes a long throw, and comes off the bag. Tries to do a backhand tag and misses him. So the leadoff hitter for the Braves, Jacob Hall, is on at first. And now coming to the plate is going to be the junior who plays center field. That's number one, Trey Williams. And Trey comes to the plate. Now he's got no outs. A runner at first here in the bottom of the first. In Region 1, 4A baseball action. Now 
And that ball's hit hard. It's going out to left field. It's going to get down. Oh, they're going to call it a foul ball by inches down there on the third base line, deep in the corner. And that would have been at least a double for Trey Williams and an RBI. Well hit ball. So Trey Williams steps back here in the plate. No balls, one strike with a runner at first. However, they throw to first, he's back in time. So the sophomore Jacob Hall's at first. And the junior Trey Williams hit a deep foul ball. And the count now is 0-1. He hits that ball again this time. It's going to get down in left field, and that's going to move the runner around to second. So the first two hitters here in the bottom of the first inning for the Braves are on base, and coming to the plate is going to be number 19, the sophomore, Bo Crum. Bo is the catcher this afternoon, and he's the left-hander. He'll step here to the plate with runners at first and second, and no outs for the Braves against the Amory Panthers here in Region 1 for a baseball action. This is the first time these two teams have met this year. That ball's hit hard. It's going to go back up the middle. It's going to be booted by the shortstop, and they're going to hold the runner there at third, and he's back. So the Panthers do a good job keeping the runners on the bases. So we've got bases loaded now here in the bottom of the first as number 22 hold on we're going to have a courtesy runner coming in and that courtesy runner is going to be number two and that's going to be brooks marler he's running for bo crumb the catcher and coming to the plate is number 22 jackson moore and i can tell you this jackson moore's got the power around the injury to knock it out of this park i've seen it with my own two eyes or one and a half and he's going to foul that one off over to the softball field. So Ace Rock on the mound. Facing Jackson Moore with an 0-1 count and bases loaded and no outs. Jesse DeWilliams says go T1. And that's going to be another... That's going to be a strike, and it's going to score a run. So the Braves are going to take advantage of a fast ball. And that will score one. So the score is one to zero. The Braves here in the bottom of the first as the runners move down to second and third respectively. And the coach from Amory, Coach Pace, he wants to know, was that not a foul tip? It was a foul tip, and the catcher dropped it, so therefore it wasn't a foul ball, is what he said. So the count now is 0-2 to Jackson Moore. Runners at second and third for the Braves. That's going to be a strike three call on the outside edge. And that ball looked wide from up here, but I can't see... The plate as well as the home plate umpire. So now we've got one out. And coming to the plate is the number five hole hitter, 21, the sophomore, Jevin McDuffie. Jevin plays down at second base. He steps in here to the batter's box with runners at second and third with one out for the Tishomingo County Braves. And this is Varsity Action here on WRMG TV 12 and 97. Your hometown station bringing you another hometown event. There's also a hometown event going on in Belmont today and Mantachi. And Jackson Mantachi and Scott Webster's over at Belmont. And that first pitch is going to be a strike call from Ace Rock on the mound to McDuffie.
McDuffie shows bunt and misses the ball, so that's going to be a 0-2 count now with one out. And that's a big cut by McDuffie on the uh, outside pitch. That'll be strike three out, number two. And now coming to the plate is a number 23, the senior, Braylon Pitts. He's the designated hitter this afternoon. He steps into the batter's box with two outs and runners at second and third for the Braves. That ball's going to be a chopper down to third, but it's going to be foul. So it's a 0-1 count. And that pitch is wide and outside, and you know this is going to be a good game because the... Amory Panthers were the 3A state champs last year, Randall. And now they're in 4A baseball, though. A little different, a little different uh, level here, but still a great program. That ball's hit hard down to the shortstop. He's going to field it. Throws over to first in time to get the third out. So the, Car the, the Cardinals, the Braves leave two stranded as we move into the top of the second. And y'all, I apologize for saying the Cardinals because that's where Randall and I were Saturday. And I was in that realm of baseball and softball all day Saturday. But we'll move into the top of the second here. And your score is one to nothing. The Tishomingo County Braves. The Animal Choice Vet Clinic in Iuka. Dr. Brad Nunley, Dr. Jennifer Tucker, Dr. Abigail Floyd and staff want to say best of luck to the Braves. Like us on Facebook and call us at 662-423-2686. Also, Burnsville Tire, Mr. Ethan Morris. He's located at 246 Highway 72 West in Burnsville. Home of the free mounting and balancing with the purchase of any tire. And he'll do a home of the lifetime with rotations with the purchase of any tire, any four tires. He's also home of the certified advanced alignment front end technician. We do tires, wheels, alignments, exhaust, towing, roadside service, brake shocks, and more. That is 662-427-9308. Also, Cornerstone Insurance, your locally trusted choice for independent insurance agent with a complete line of personal and commercial injury products. Beth and her staff have over 200 years of experience, and they're on hand and ready to help you. They're located at 107 South Fulton Street, downtown Iuka, with office also in Boonville and Baldwin. Call for your free insurance quote. <laughs> And now coming to the plate is going to be the number four hole hitter for the Panthers. And that's going to be Ethan Childers. He plays down at first. So number five, Childers steps to the plate. First pitch from Wilson is a ball. So it's a 1-0 count here. He gets him to foul that one off. It's going to even the count up at one ball, one strike. That ball's going to be hit hard just over the re jump of Trey Williams out in the center field. So the leadoff hitter for the Panthers is on here in the top of the second. And coming to the plate now will be number three, the man who's been on the mound for the Amory Panthers. That's Ace Rock. If you hadn't shared our broadcast, you need to do so. I'll tell you this broadcast, this game may wind up just like the ones did earlier on Saturday and earlier in the week where there was a ball game back and back. That's a hard hit ball out in the left field. The left fielder's going to get in under it and just missed it as he's trying to make a running grab. Out in left field. So the first two hitters for the Panthers are on as now. Coming to plate is number six, the third baseman, Paxton Wright. 
and they'll have a courtesy runner down there. And I did not get to see his number, and I don't have my glasses on, and it's blurry. No outs, runners at first and second for the Panthers. That ball's going to be hit. It's going to be to the shortstop. He's going to take the bag, tags him right there, gets a double play. So he gets two outs. Good job by Trey Williams to get a double play as he thinks and grabs the ball, tags the runner going to third, steps on the base for the second out. So now we've got two outs here in the top of the second with a runner at first for the Panthers. And coming to the plate is going to be number 13, Jathan Ray, the left fielder for the Panthers. Great thinking by Trey Williams. And that pitch from Wilson misses inside for ball number one. I bet you that coach is about to have a stroke out there with that runner not running from second to third. Holy cow. <laughs> and throw over the first by Wilson. Ham puts the tag down, but the runner is back safe. Pitch misses just outside for ball number two. And it'll be a strike call on the inside of the plate. So that's going to make you count now. Two balls and one strike to number 13. Jathan Ray, the Panthers' left fielder, runner down at first with two outs. That pitch is going to be high and outside. So Wilson gets behind the count now. Three balls and one strike. And we're in the meat of the Panthers' batting order. That ball's going to be hit, but it's going to be chopped foul down the first baseline. So that's going to make you count full. Three balls, two strikes here in a one to nothing ball game and a battle between Region 1, 4A rivals, Amory and Tishomingo. And that's going to pitch. It's going to be high. Four ball, four. So he'll draw the walk. And now coming to the plate is going to be the eight-hole hitter, number seven, Kai Dozier. He plays second for the Panthers. Dozier steps in. He's got runners at first and second with two outs. First and third are playing in. That ball's hit in the air, and it's going to be out of play foul. You are so right, Darlene. You are exactly. Jacob Hall made that great play at shortstop. That ball's going to be hit hard down to third. He's going to make the play. Throws the first. Gets out number three. So Jackson Moore makes the play. Throws over an outstretch to Caden Ham for out number three. So we'll move into the bottom now. Of the first in second inning. And we want to also recognize Carly Carmen, attorney at law. We help with your real estate law, estate planning, nonprofit, and charity formation, protecting your right to parent. Small firm with a big heart located in Iuka, 662 593 3079. Good luck to the Cardinal, I mean to the Braves from the Mississippi Land Bank Vice President, Branch Manager Dustin Lambert at 2101 Highway 72 East in Corinth, 662-286-0020. Hometown Pizza in Iuka, located at 509 Battleground Drive. That's Regina and James Smith. They're open daily, 11 to 9, seven days a week. Pizza, pasta, salad bar, wings, baked potatoes, and ice cream. Now offering Christmas pizza for the dieters. And a 20-inch party pizza, 662-593-3036. 
Piggly Wiggly of Belmont, Red Bay, and Iuka. Lowest prices, hometown friendly service. The Seegers Clinic, Dr. Scott Seegers. Nurse practitioner, Sarah Cooley, here to serve our hometown people. 662-423-1000. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Prey Potter and Heavenly Yogurt in Iuka. Good luck to the Braves there at 115 South Fulton Street. 662-424-0202. And now, come to plate for the Braves is number 10. That's Ashton Hall. He hits that ball down to third. It's going to be a chopper. Third baseman feels it. Makes the long throw for out number one. And now, come to plate is going to be 25. The pitcher, Tate Wilson. Tate's on the mound pitching. He's a junior. He comes in here with one out and nobody on. In the bottom of the second with a one to nothing lead. He said my hard in the air. It's going out to left center. And the center fielder comes over and makes the play for out number two. And now coming to the plate is going to be the nine-hole hitter, the junior. That's Caden Ham. He plays down at first base. He steps in the box with uh, two out and nobody on. With a one-to-nothing lead. Ace Rock here is about to deliver. Here's the pitch hit hard in the air. Third baseman shortstop going out on the edge of the grass, and the shortstop's going to make the play. So Brayton Maranto gets underneath the play for the out number three. So your score is two to zero after two. There's three up, three down that time for the Braves. And now we'll move into the top of the third. And we'd like to also recognize on our broadcast today, Downtown Auto, your one-stop location for auto repair. We do it all from mufflers, brakes, exhaust, alignment, batteries, tune-ups, shocks, air conditioning repair. Call the Hardwick, 662-423-6811. Also, good luck to the Tishomingo County teams from your Tishomingo County Chantry Clerk, Peyton Cummins. Northeast Mississippi Community College moving forward with technology in the classroom with a health and fitness initiative with an honors college and a student success center with workforce training and a commitment to excellent athletics and a four-day instructional week featuring online short-term hybrid classes all at affordable cost. Take your next step with Northeast. It's going to be call them at 1-800-555. 2154 or www.nemcc.edu. Also, sponsor this afternoon's game is McWright Insurance Agency at 93rd Street in Belmont and a payment office at 1407 Battleground Drive in Iuka under the leadership of Brandon Tamar Farr, 662-454-7831. They are an independent agency serving Northeast Mississippi, Middle Tennessee, and Northwest Alabama. And that pitch from Wilson is a strike to the nine-hole hitter, Bent Galt, who's playing out in right field for the Panthers. He gets him to hit that ball. It's going to be driven out to right center. And the center fielder is on his horse, does a flyby, and gets that ball. That is Trey Williams, number one. And, Daniel, I'm glad you caught that before on Jacob because Jacob did an outstanding job as the runner should have been running, but Jacob, uh, Jacob noticed he didn't, so he tagged the runner and stepped on the base for the double play. And that time, Trey Williams out in center field got on his horse and ran that fly ball down over in right center. And that pitch from Wilson is going to be fouled off by number 22, Jack Howe, the center fielder. Panthers are back at the top of the order here in the top of the third. Just misses low and outside for ball number one. One ball, one strike now. Chastity Williams says, good luck, Braves. <coughs> and that was an appeal down to see if the batter went, but he did not, so the count's two and one.
He hits that ball. It's going to be high in the air right back here. And Bo Crumb's going to make the play. Far out. Number two. And that ball was hit high in the air right here in field. And now come to the plate is number 21, the shortstop for the Panthers. That's Braden Murano. And like I said earlier, he is a class of 25 uh, commit to Southern Mississippi. And that's a good pitch from Wilson for strike number one. I got a couple really good friends that uh, live down in Hattiesburg. And I know y'all would be proud to see any of these young athletes come that way. And he tried to get him to chase the low fastball outside, and he lays off of it. So the count now is one and one. And if you're out there watching, share our broadcast. Let other folks see it. Uh, it's like I said the other night, if you like somebody, share it with them. But even if you don't like it, share it with them. Because this is going to be one heck of a ball game as it's already started out that way in a 1-0 to zero score as the Tishomingo County Braves are up by one. That ball's going to be hit out in the left field. Left fielder's going to get in and under it, and that will be out number three. So Nick Harwell, the senior, gets the out. So it's three up, three down for the Panthers. And now we'll move into the bottom of the third inning. And a one to zero score. We'd also like to recognize Nunley Trucking, Herman and Daryl Nunley and staff. Good luck to all of our Chisholm County teams, 662-424-0080. Tiffin Motorhomes, Red Bay Belmont and featuring the Allegro. Good luck to our local teams. The Belmont Medical Clinic, remember Heather Edmondson and her staff. For an appointment, call 662-454-3401. Also sponsoring this afternoon's game is JR's Wholesale and Boutique. They are your bargain headquarters located on old Highway 25 North. They've got great prices on their men and women jeans as well as household and cleaning supplies, tools, grocery items. Inventory changes daily at JR's Wholesale and Boutique in Iuka. Also sponsoring this afternoon's game is Plaza Lanes, Premier Bowling Alley in Corinth at 2001 East Shiloh Road. We are your party headquarters. They got a full service cafe, arcade, billiards, full service pro shop for all your bowling equipment needs and a league for all skill levels. 662-286-8105 or visit them at www.bowlcorinth.com. There's more to life than bowling, but not much. And now coming to the plate is number four. That's going to be Jacob Hall, the shortstop. He's just a sophomore. That ball's going to be hit. It's going to get over the head of the first baseman. It's going to get down in right field. He's going to make the turn. And he's going to hold up there at second as the Panthers get the ball into the cutoff man. So the leadoff hitter here in the bottom of the third is on as number one, the center fielder, junior, Trey Williams, comes to the plate for the Braves. He's going to be facing no outs and a runner down at first base as we're here in the bottom of the third. That ball's going to be hit hard. It's going to get over the shortstop's head. It's going to drop out in left center field. And we've got two, the first two hitters here of the bottom of the third on for the Braves. And coming to the plate is going to be number 19. And that's going to be the man who's catching this afternoon, the sophomore, Bo Crum. Bo comes to the plate. It's no outs. Runners at first and second. Jerry Don Keith said, go Braves, keep it up. Need some more runs. Yes, we do. 
no Jerry Lyon Keith sitting over to my right over here, right around on I. That pitch is going to be inside, but he's going to call it a strike. Umpires have certain places at the plate they like a pitch, and he likes it there. So that makes the count now 0 and 1. Ace Rock on the mound for the Panthers. He hits that ball. It's going to be over the shortstop's head. And we're going to send the runner. And we're going to hold one up at third. But the Braves are going to score another run. So they listened to Mr. Jerry Don. And they scored another run here. And now we've got Brooks Marler coming in. Four Bo Crumb, the catcher, is a courtesy runner. And coming to the plate is going to be number 22. The junior play down at third base is Jackson Moore. No outs. That pitch is going to be as high and outside for ball number one. So Coach Austin Marlin wasn't messing around. He scored another run here. And that's, that's that spot I said the umpires like, and he likes that spot. Four strike number one. I've seen umpires around like the high inside fastball, the low inside fastball, and the outside low fastball. They love it. And if it's in that air, you better do just that. And Jackson Moore's going to get a single RBI. He's going to get two RBIs out of that base hit as he hits the ball to opposite field. And that's where I was talking about that pitch was outside where this umpire likes it. And Jackson Moore took the ball exactly where he was supposed to, out to right field to get a, a two RBI base hit. For the Cardinals, and now at the plate is going to be 21. That's Jevin McDuffie. And I'm telling you, if you hadn't shared a broadcast, you hadn't liked it, you ain't got something you want to see it, you need to find them. Darrell Hopkins says, go to this county. I tell you, you need to share it because we're going to win a battle here till oh, this game. I predict Randall will go to the 7 full. Runner goes, swing and a miss, and throw down to second is not in time as Jackson's in at second safe. As the wind will kick around a little bit here, Jevin McDuffie's here at the plate. Got a whole one count. And he's going to hit a dribbler back to the pitcher. That's going to be a sacrifice as it moves the runner on to third. So good job by McDuffie to move the runner. So now coming to the plate is going to be number 23, the senior Braylon Pitts, the designated hitter. He steps to the plate here with a runner at third and one out in the bottom of the third and the Braves are up four to zero. And that'll be a strike on the outside as Pitts wanted to swing. And it's a last second decided not to. That pitch is going to miss inside and tight. So that's going to be a 1-1 count now. One ball, one strike with one out. And a runner down at third for the Braves. What a pitch, but he's going to foul that one off. And that was right in that same zone that the home plate umpire will call it a strike. So he was good at protecting the plate. That's going to make you count now. One ball, two strikes here. 
to the senior, number 23, Braylon Pitts, who's designated hitter this afternoon for the Braves. One ball, two strikes, one out, runner down at third. Pitts is going to hit that ball hard out to left field. It's going deep, 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 and it's going to be over the glove against the wall, and that's going to score one. And Pitts is going to be in there with a double at second. As the Braves now are up five to zero here in Varsity Action Region One for a baseball between two very good baseball programs. And coming to the plate now is number 10, the senior right fielder, Aston Hall. Last time up, he hit down the third. Braylon hit that ball hard. That ball was almost out of here, folks. That's that same spot I'm talking about, outside low. He's going to call it up if you don't swing at her. And that's okay. Hey, man, that's his spot. He's got a sweet spot. We all got one. Mine's at home, Miss Pam. That pitch is going to be high and outside, so it's going to be a 1-1 a one -one count. Randall, look at me, y'all, when I said sweet spot, like I'm not, I don't have a sweet spot. Randall, I can be nice when I'm asleep. <laughs> oh... And that's going to be a 2-1 count now to the right fielder for the Braves, number 10, Aston Hall with a 2-1 count. <laughs> he hits that ball hard. It's going to be out into the right left field, and it's going to get down, and Pitts is going to hold up at third. So we've got Aston Hall at first now. With one out, so another well-hit ball by the Braves. And now coming to the plate is number 25, the junior who's on the mound, Tate Wilson. And there's runners at first and third here for Tate with one out. That's going to be a foul tip by Wilson. Good cut. Got to stay in there. Watch the ball as it explodes off of the end of the bat. Phil so Wilson steps in at the plate. Runners at first and third. One out for the Braves. Is there a five to zero? Throw it to first. Not in time. And Randall, back in my wilder days when I was coaching real young, I'd have come home on that throw to first. You know what we saw at Belmont? I saw it at Belmont the other day. I saw it at Belmont and Alcorn Central three times where Coach Thornton stole three runs in that ball game and almost got four, but the runner was tagged out just before the runner got across the plate. And that pitch from Wilson is going to be fouled off, so that's going to make you count now. No balls and two strikes. Runners on the corners. And Ace Rock's about to deliver the pitch. He throws the first instead. Good job by Hall to get back. Ethan Childers put the quick tag on Hall over there, but he was back safe. Darrell Hopkins said, let's go Tish County. I agree. And runner goes. The ball's going to be too low to throw down. So they were trying to get Wilson to swing at that low fastball inside. And Tate Wilson says, well, I'm going to do the take sign and we're going to steal second. So now the count's one ball, two strikes, and runners are at second and third now for the Braves in the five to zero ball game. That pitch is going to miss outside, so it's going to be a two two count. Two balls, two strikes, one out. 
to the eight hole hitter Tate Wilson who hit the shortstop earlier today. Amory's playing in. That ball's going to be hit high in the air. That's going to be out to left field. The left field is going to make the play, but it's going to be a tag up. And they're going to have to hold the runner at second because he's going to be in safe at home. Good job by the Braves to score another run here. And that's a deep sacrifice fly. As Austin Marlin watches him make the catch, Watches him tag up and gets him to go. And now coming to the plate is going to be the nine-hole hitter who plays down at first base, the junior, Caden Ham. He's got two outs and a runner at second. And a big cut by Ham for strike number one. Ace Rock still on the hill here. Two outs. Runner at second. Caden Ham at the plate. That's the pitch in the sweet spot for a strike. That's going to be an 0-2 count. That pitch is going to miss just inside. Two hams, so now the count's going to be one ball, two strikes with two outs. Caden Ham's going to foul that one off as he was trying, I believe, it looked like he was protecting the runner. And a one-two count. He's going to hit that ball. It's going to be in the air, and it's going to be foul. A lot of play over the bleachers here. Thank goodness. Had me holding my clipboard up, Randall. I was holding up over Jack's equipment. Those foul balls scare me to death sometimes. That's going to be low. That's going to be a 2-2 count now. Hams battled here at the plate. That'll be strike three on the outside edge in that sweet spot for the home plate umpire. And that's going to be out. A number three, so the Braves will leave one on, but score. Now your score is six to zero, and we'll move into the top of the fourth inning here in Region 1, three, four, four A baseball, not 3A. Uh, Scott's got the 3A baseball, and Jack's got the 3A softball. And Jack's game may be over right now. Let me see if I can look out there and see. I got Scott Webster watching, so he's between games as well. So let me see. Belmont, let's see, that's here. Now that was there.
And if that man gives me, it sounds good to me out there. And I'm try, I was trying to pick up some scores, but let me get back here where I'm supposed to be. As Tish County's hosting the Amory Panthers here in Region 1 for a baseball action. And Donald Wise Discount Grocery in Burnsville, owner Ted and Wendy Fox. They got name brand appliances as well as mattresses. That's the Donald Wise in the shopping center in Burnsville. Triple D Bucket Service, Barney Brandon and Dustin Dick. They'll do their best to meet all your high risk needs. Their professional manner, their licensed, bonded, and insured, 662-279-7500. And now, coming to the plate for the Panthers is number eight. That's Dave McGowan, the designated hitter. And he wants an equipment timeout to fix his equipment there. As Tate Wilson now has got a 1-1 count to him. And that's a big cut for strike number two. <laughs> That ball's going to be hit deep out into left center. It's carrying deep, deep, deep. It's going to go to the wall and bounce over. So that's going to be a ground rule double for the leadoff hitter for the Panthers. And now coming to the plate is going to be number five for the Panthers. And that is Ethan Childers. He plays first base. He's coming to the plate here. No outs with a runner at second. As we're in the top of the fourth inning in a 6-0 to zero ball game as the Braves are up by six. A big cut by Childers for strike number one. They throw the outside fastball, and he lays off of it. And that's going to make the count even at one and one. He shows bunt and doesn't pull back. That's going to be two balls and a strike now. With no outs and a runner down at second for Childers. They throw down, but the runner does get back. Tate Wilson had to make an adjustment on that throw. As Jacob Hall was a little bit further to the left of the bag. But Wilson does a great job adjusting in the air. Now that sweet spot that time got called a ball, Randall. It is. That's the sweet spot. That's a 3-2 count now. Here comes the ball. And that breaking pitch just misses the top of the strike zone for a walk. So now coming to the plate is going to be number three, the five-hole hitter. That's Ace Rock. He's on the mound today pitching. He's batting left-handed. 
And there are no outs with runners at first and second for the Panthers. Here in the top of the fourth. He gets him to hit that ball. It's going to be a high fly ball out to left field. He gets under the ball. That's going to be out number one. So a good job out there by Nick Harwell, the senior for the Braves. So now coming to the plate is going to be number six in the six hole. Paxton Wright, the third baseman for the Panthers. Got one out runners at first and second. He squares the bunt. That ball's going to be high and inside for ball number one. Squares the bunt again. He's going to bunt that one down. It's going to be fielded by the first baseman. Throw down the first. Gets the out. But that's going to be a good sacrifice bunt. As Caden Ham charges the ball, turns and throws it down to Jevin McDuffie at first for out number one. And the runners do advance, so it was a good sacrifice bunt. So now we got... Jonathan Raya. He hits that ball out to right field. He drops, Hall drops. It's going to bounce, and it's going to go over the fence for a ground rule double. So the runner at second will get to come home. So that will be a two-run RBI from number 13. That's Jathan Rath. A left fielder, he drives that ball deep, and Coach Warner wants to go out and talk to his crew on the field. And while he takes that time out to go out and talk to them, we also want to recognize Thompson Gas, the most trusted name in propane locally operated by Dustin Chase Oliver. They got a free meter installation. They also have a referral program for you to make money for referring someone you know to use us. You got someone you take care of or someone elderly or handicapped who can't read the gauge or call for gas. They need the Reli meter with Thompson Gas because that makes it easy. Also, Tishomingo Auto Repair, located at 1202 Highway 25 in Tishomingo. Open Monday through Saturday, 8 to 5. Call us for all your auto repairs, 662-438-6650. Also, good luck to the Tishomingo County teams from your circuit court clerk, Rebecca Oaks. And now, stepping into the plate is number seven, the eight-hole hitter, this Kai Dozier, the second baseman for the Panthers. He's got a runner at second with two outs. That's a strike call in the sweet spot. So that makes it a low one count. He gets him to pop that one up. It's over toward the second base. Second baseman dropping. Makes the call. It's going to be out number three. So the Panthers will leave. A one stranded here as they score two. And we'll move now into the bottom of the fourth inning. And your score is six to two. The Tishomingo Braves over the Amory Panthers here in Region 1. 4A baseball action. You need a winning financial strategy. Visit Guarantee Bank, formerly the First American National Bank, for all your personalized banking solutions tailored to your needs. Guarantee Bank has the tools you need to win. They are proud to be the community bank with friendly service and familiar faces. Sid Whitehurst at Sid's Trading Company. They are now the authorized dealer for the Landmaster utility vehicle. Whatever your need may be, jump in and enjoy the ride. Remember, if you got to cut more dig, get her did at SIDS. Also, sponsoring this afternoon's game is Happy Holla Outdoors. They have items for pets, a women's boutique. They have a baby registry and a bridal registry. And in the sporting goods section, they offer camo and hunting apparel. 
guns and ammo about any caliber configuration you would want. That's Happy Holla Outdoors in Red Bay. The Tishomingo County Electric Power Association would like to remind you we are a member of the TVAE program where TVA will come in and do an energy audit of your home. For more information, call 662-423-3646 during normal business hours. Also, sponsoring tonight's game is Triple D's Hardware and Supply at 1510 Battleground Drive in Ayuka. Lumber Hardware Building Supplies offering patio furniture, mulch, and new items coming in daily. As Barney, Brandon, and Dustin, the Dick family at Triple D's Hardware and Supply, 662-423-1222. And now at the plate is number four, the top of the order for the Braves, and that is Jacob Hall, the sophomore shortstop, who's done a great job down there today. That ball's hit hard. It's going to be in the gap. So he drives one dead center up the middle for base hit for the leadoff hitter. Last time up, he did hit the right field. And now coming to the plate is number one, Trey Williams. He has hit the left center today. And Ace Rock is still on the mound for the Panthers. Those right, bats left. But Trey Williams steps in here. No outs and a runner at first. A runner goes. Throw down to second. It's going to be the left side of the bag. So he's going to be in there safe. So Jacob Hall has another stolen base on the afternoon. And now Trey Williams steps back into the box. One ball, no strikes, and no outs. That pitch is going to be high for ball number two. It's our pleasure this afternoon to be here on the hometown station bringing you hometown events. Jack Ivey broadcasting WRMG Television 12 and 97. I'm David Leatherwood with the flash from Vina, Randall Lindsay, on the camera this afternoon. And that's the sweet spot for strike number one. So the count now is two and one. And that ball's going to be hit right back to the pitcher. So that's going to be a sacrifice to move the runner around the third. So Trey Williams does his job. And he had to swing at that pitch as it was low and outside in that sweet spot. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 19, the sophomore, Bo Crum, who's catching this afternoon. And last time up, Bo had a good shot out into a left center field. So he's looking for another RBI this afternoon. That's the sweet spot inside for the strike. So it's a 0-1 count. Randall, I believe every ball that's hit that spot today has been a strike, but maybe one. And like I said, they have their zone. They got the spot they like the best. And if you put it there, they're going to give it to you. He's going to put it there, and he gets it, but he's going to put it out there into a right center field for another base hit and an RBI. So Bo Crumb's on again down at first as he makes the score 7-2, to two and he gets him another RBI. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 22. That is the junior, Jackson Moore, played down at third base. He's also looking for another RBI this afternoon. He steps in here with a runner at first and one out. As each rocks on the mound for the Panthers. And that pitch is a ball. Hey. 
Rock throws the first. And the man is back. Good tag over there by Ethan Childers. But the runner was safe. Runner goes, balls hit deep. It's going deep left center, and it's going to be back two miles to the wall. But that will be out number two. But a well hit ball by Jackson Moore. About another 10 feet, Randall, it'll have been where that one was that Saturday I was up here where he put it over the E in Braves out there in left center. And now coming to the plate is going to be Jevin McDuffie, number 21, the sophomore. And Jevin, last time up, hit to the pitcher. That's a sweet spot for strike number one. So it's a whole one count, two outs. If you're out there watching, share a broadcast. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know how we're sounding and looking. If you're watching over on YouTube, come over here on Facebook and let us know how it sounds. That ball's hit down to the shortstop. He's going to flip to second to get the lead runner for out number three. So the Braves will leave one stranded but score one more as we'll move now into the top of the fifth inning. Hodges Antiques, he's by your unwanted gold and silver. They're across the street from the Shell Station in Iuka. That's Mr. Bob Hodges at Hodges Antiques, 662-424-1007. If Boone says, let's go Braves, I agree. These young folks, they'll go back and watch this. And if you're out there from Amory and you're watching, give us a go, uh, Panthers. We, we, we'll let you watch as well. Uh, Sonic and Belmont, they are your morning drink stop. They have happy hour daily, 2 to 4, where they got half price soft drink slushes and teas. Download the Sonic app, and it's happy hour all day, every day. And you'll also receive special offers on the app. And Iuka 423 9100, and in Belmont 454 307. Zero. You got new construction or home remodeling you want to do? No jobs are too big or too small for Curtis Construction and Contracting. Titus Curtis at 662-279-9866 or 662-279-9505. Also, Williams Service Center located at 1112 Marie Lane in Iuka. They are a full service center, 662-423-2119. And now coming to the plate is going to be Number eight, Dave McGowan, the designated hitter for the Panthers. I'm sorry, that I'm sorry, that is number zero, Ben Galt. He's batting in the number nine spot. He's the right fielder. That pitch is going to be high, so it's going to be a one-one count now. Good-looking pitch from Tate Wilson, but it'll be called the ball. So the count's now two and one. That pitch is going to be high and outside, so it's going to be a three-one count. As Wilson gets behind to the number nine hole hitter, Ben Galt, number zero, the right fielder for the Panthers. He's going to hit that ball. It's going to be down to shortstop. Jacob Hall's going to backhand it, but it's going to be too far in the hole. So that's going to be a base hit for the leadoff hitter here in the top of the fifth inning. And coming to the plate now is the top of the order, number 22, Jack Howell, the center fielder for the Panthers. He steps in here with no outs and a runner at first. That pitch misses low and outside. It's going to get away. And the runner's going to move down to second. A 
one ball, no strikes, no out. And a runner at second base now for the Amory Panthers. Tate Wilson gets him to hit that ball. It's going to drop in out there in left field. It's going to get down to the corner. That's going to score a run. He's going to be in there at second with a stand-up double. Great job by Nick Harwell to get on his house and get to that ball as it went to the corner. And that's going to hold the runner up at second. So he's in there with a RBI double. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 21. That's Braden Maranto. He is the shortstop. He, he's the class of 25 commitment to Southern Miss. That ball's going to be bunted foul down the third baseline. Or strike number one. Three to seven now here in the top of the fifth inning. Good looking pitch from Tate for ball number one. He's going to hit that hard ball hard. It's going to be fielded by Hall. He's going to throw it to first. Gets out. Number one. So that'll be a sacrifice. Move the runner around the third. So they get the runner in scoring position. And scoring position is second or third, by the way. And what Ron Pope taught me. And now coming to the plate is going to be number eight, Dave McGowan, the designated hitter. For the Panthers, he's got a runner at third, one out, and a seven to three ball game. This is region one for a baseball action. Wilson's pitch misses low and outside, and the catcher, Bo Crumb, does a great job keeping that ball in front of him. That pitch misses outside wide also, so it's going to be a 2-0 count here. That ball is going to be chopped foul down the third base side. So the count's going to be two balls, one strike, one out. The runner at third, and those Marlins got the corners playing in. That's the sweet spot for strike number two. That makes you count two and two here. Wilson just misses the sweet spot. For a 3-2 count. Just missed the sweet spot. And that ball will be fouled down the third base side by Mr. Dave McGowan, the designated hitter. So the count remains full. Three balls, two strikes. One out. The corners are playing in. And the middle playing back a little bit, and that pitch is going to miss high. So that will be ball four. So he will walk him. And now coming to the plate is going to be a number five. That's going to be Ethan Childers. Ethan's the first baseman for the Panthers. Now he'll step in here to the batter's box with a runner at first and second and one out. So the middle infield's playing double play depth. And that's going to be a strike on the inside corner for a pitch, and that's going to be strike number one. 
So we got one out here. Oh, one count. Runners at first and third for the Panthers. Wilson gets him to foul that one away. So this is going to be heavy count. Oh, two now. That'll be a ball, and the runner will move down to second as that ball got away from Bo Crumb catcher. And now we got runners at second and third, both of them in scoring position. And that pitch is wide and outside. So that's going to be a 2-2 two -two count here to Ethan Childers, the first baseman for the Panthers. Yes. And the pitch, he gets him strike three. That ball's hit back to the pitcher. He's going to make the play. Tate Wilson gets the play as he falls off the bound of the first base side. Fields the ball, gets the third out. So the Panthers are going to leave two stranded as we we'll move down into the bottom of the fifth in a 7-3 battle between Region 1 for a softball, I mean baseball. The Amory Panthers and the Tishomingo County Braves here in Iuka on a beautiful afternoon for baseball. Dr. Cameron Bonds at the North Mississippi Medical Center in Iuka. Dr. Bonds, his family and staff wish the best of luck to all the teams. To schedule an appointment, call 662-423-6014. The Tishomingo County School Board and Superintendent Christy Holly would like to wish best luck to the Tishomingo County High School in Belmont for a great school year. Go Cardinals, go Braves. And this evening's broadcast is also sponsored by Casey Lott, owner of the largest personal injury firm in Northeast Mississippi with attorneys licensed in Mississippi, Tennessee, and Alabama. Casey and his team of attorneys specialize in personal injury and pharmaceutical liability cases. For all your legal needs, call Casey and his team, 662-554-4000. Also, Gatlin Pharma Pharmacy, home of the Tishomingo County's best cost-saving program. We are at Tishomingo County's 340B Pharmacy, offering patients hundreds of savings each month. We offer free delivery anywhere in northeast Mississippi, northwest Alabama, and southwest Tennessee. We have the personalized prescription packs. All your meds are conveniently packed into one small package has offer better service, friendly, reliable, fast, hometown folks you know and trust. Call Stanley Page to see if he can save you money at Gatlin Pharmacy, your health mark pharmacy, downtown Tishomingo, 662-438-6605. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 23, batting in the six hole, the senior, Braylon Pitts. He has hit this afternoon. Out to third and left field, and the first pitch from Rock is a strike. That pitch is going to miss inside, so that's going to make you count one and one now. That pitch is high and outside. That ball's going to be in the opposite field just where you need to put that pitch. He threw it in that sweet spot low and outside. And pitch 
gets on that one, drives it out into right field. So we've got the leadoff hitter again on for the Braves here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And coming to the plate now is going to be number 10. That's going to be the right field of the senior, Ashton Hall. And we'll have a timeout as the pitcher and catcher want to make sure they're going over the signs and they get the right signals. And again, I'm David Leatherwood bringing you the action with the Vina Flash. Bill Lindsay, I mean Randall Lindsay. Oh, he's hit by hard. He's going to get through the gap down at third. Pitts moves to second. So the top, the leadoff two hitters for the Braves are on. And now coming to play, this is the eight-hole hitter. That's going to be the junior who's been pitching this afternoon, Tate Wilson. Last time up, he hit to the shortstop. And on deck will be number eight, Caden Ham, the first baseman for the Braves. No outs, runners at first and second here in the bottom of the fifth. And a big cut by Tate for strike number one. And that's going to be a strike call as he could not hold his swing. He tried to check swing on that pitch. So that's going to make you count now. No balls, two strikes. No outs with runners at first and third for Tate Wilson. Batting in the number eight spot for the Braves. That's the sweet spot by the home plate umpire out there as he calls a strikeout. And now, coming to the plate is going to be the junior, number eight, the first baseman, Mr. Caden Ham. Caden is going to step into the box at the number nine hole hitter, and he's got runners at first and third. I mean, first and second. Wishful thinking, I believe, Randall, first and third. <laughs> He shows bunt. He's going to do a, almost a good bunt. And that bunch of balls going to get fouled down the first base side. <clears throat> so that's going to make you count now. No balls in one strike. Here to the junior first baseman for the Braves. Rock wants to take a timeout, so he's going to step off the off the the uh, pitching rubber. He shows bunt again. He's going to put that one down third. It's going to be a good bunt, and it's going to advance the runners. And Ace Rock cannot get their handle on the ball, so we're going to have bases loaded now for the Braves with one out. And coming to the plate is going to be the top of the order, number four, the sophomore shortstop. And that's going to be Jacob Hall. Jacob's hit to right field and center field today where he's gotten some RBIs. He's looking to add more RBIs to his uh, record this afternoon. One out bases loaded for the sophomore. And that pitch is going to be high outside for ball number one. It's been a battle all afternoon between these two teams. That ball is going to miss low of the sweet spot for a 2-0 count.
Jacob Hall's going to hit that ball. It's going to get fouled, though, down the first base side as that pitch was headed for that sweet spot. And the only place to take that ball for a right-handed hitter is to a right field. And he gets him to foul that one off as well, so he's protecting the plate. 2-2 two -two count. Bases loaded for number four of the sophomore, Jacob Hall. The shortstop for the Braves. That pitch misses wide and outside. So it's a full count now. Three, two count. And here comes the pitch from Rock. It's going to be hit up the middle as the shortstop was playing in. That's going to score one. That's going to score two. They're going to get the ball into the shot cutoff man at second. But the Braves pick up two more runs. Make the score now nine to three on a well hit ball up the middle on a shortstop that was playing in. And if I'd have been coaching Randall, he'd have been playing back forward double play depth, but that's just me. Every coach has their own thing. And now Coach Pace wants to go out and talk to Ace on the hill. And while he talks to his pitcher and maybe makes a pitching change, we also want to recognize Hometown Pizza in Burnsville, located at 343 Highway 72 in the East Burnsville Shopping Plaza. They have pizza, pasta, cheese sticks, wings, hoagies, and a salad bar, and they offer crustless pizza for the dieters as well as a 20-inch pizza for a party pizza. They're closed Monday and Tuesday. They're 11 to 8 on Wednesday and Thursday, 11 to 9 on Friday, 3 to 9 on Saturday, and 11 to 8 on Sundays. Dine in or drive through. Pick up window available, 662-360-4019. If you want top-notch internet, no matter where you live, in Tishomingo County, Tishomingo Connect is here for you, 662-423-3646. Also, this afternoon, joining us this afternoon broadcast is your Tishomingo County Coroner. Good luck to the Tishomingo County teams from Mac Wildman. Brooks Grocery, family-owned and operated, proudly serving the community since 2009. You can't beat the friendly service in their 128 made here recipes, Brooks. Makes it easy. Dyson Big Four, 628 South Gloucester Street, one block north of the hospital. They've had national awards in sales and service. They're, they they want to make sure that their cup, customer is happy at Dosset. They don't bump the sticker and like others around do. Be careful, be wise, be happy, be satisfied. You always get more at Dyson Big Four, 628 South Gloucester Street. 662-842-4162 or 888-892-4162. Tim Boone, your Tissue Mingo County Farm Bureau agent located at 1112 Marie Lane in Iuka. When service is local, service is better. Go with the home team. And here comes the pitch from the new pitcher on the mound. That ball's going to be hit in the air. Foul for strike number one. As number seven is now on the mound pitching. That's Kai Dozier. Runners at first and second. For number one, Trey Williams. And the catcher wants to go out and make sure he's got the signal here. You'll see that a lot when a new pitcher comes in. The catcher wants to make sure he's following so he doesn't get beat up with the baseball behind the plate. So it's 0-1. One out. Runners at first and second for Trey Williams, who's hit two left center and the pitcher today. 
He hits that one back up the middle. The shortstop's going to be there. He's going to flip it to make one. On the two, and they're not in time to get the out. They're going to throw it here to play. But a run will score as... Host Marlin does a great job down there at third with some aggressive basin running. And that's going to put two outs here and a runner at first for the Braves. And coming to the plate is number 19, Bo Crum, the catcher. I'd have done it that way, Mr. D I, I would have. Mr. Jerry Don, I'd have done that that way. He hits that ball hard. It's going to be in the air, but it's going to drop just out of the reach of the third baseman and left fielder for the Panthers to make it a whole two count. Here to Bo Crum, the catcher, and a 10-3 ball game, and we're just in the bottom of the fifth. Runner goes. That pitch is going to be outside, but it's going to be too wide for the catcher to make a throw down to second. So now we got a runner at second with two outs. And a 1-1 one -one count to the batter, Bo Crum. That's the sweet spot for strike number two. Bose hits the left center and right center, and that'll be strike three as he'll get the strike out this time. So the Braves will leave one stranded as we'll move now into the top of the sixth. Here in region one, four A baseball between the Amory Panthers and the Tishomingo County Braves here in Iuka. Tia Boone, your Tishomingo County Farm Bureau agent, located at 1112 Marie Lane in Iuka. When service is local, service is better go with the home team. See you, Tia Boone, for all your auto home life insurance needs. Office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, 662 423 6151. Also, the Animal Clinic. And Iuka, Dr. James Perkins, located at Highway 25 South. Hours are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7 to 5, Thursday, 7 to 1. Close Saturday and Sunday, 662-423-3470 is a normal number. And then if you have a pet emergency, while they're not there, you can call 256-740-4800. Iuka, discount drugs at 1411 West Christmas Street in Iuka. Pharmacist Lee Griffin and Kurt Butler, they offer the ultimate prescription management solution with their free one-pack program. They also offer free delivery vaccines and are a 340B prescription saving program. 662-423-9039. Taylor Place, Mr. Taylor Epson there, Highway 72 in Burnsville, next to the Dollar General. 662-427-0030. Also with us this afternoon is the Tishomingo County Republican Party. They would like to invite you to help join them in protecting the conservative values. Follow them on Facebook. Good luck to the Braves. And now coming to the plate is going to be number six for the Panthers. And that is Paxton Wright. He plays down at third base. And that's the sweet spot for strike number one. That ball's hit hard into the air. Out to the shortstop center fielder. Shortstop gets back about six foot on the grass for out number one. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 13. That's Jathan Ray. The left fielder for the Panthers. He's a lefty. Tate Wilson, here comes the pitch. He's got the breaking pitch for strike number one.
That pitch is going to miss. Four ball. That's a hit by pitch. So that's going to be a dead ball. So that's going to put number 13 Ray on first for the Panthers. And now coming to play is going to be number 70, eight hole hitter Kai Dozier, who is on the mound in relief for Ace Rock. They got one out. A runner at first in a night in a ten to three ball game. That ball's gonna be hit hard out to center field. Center fielder for the Braves is gonna get in and under it for the out. So number one, the junior Trey Williams gets on his horse, catches the line drive for out number two. And now coming to the plate is gonna be zero Ben Galt, the right fielder. He's batting in the number nine hole. He's got a runner down at first and two outs. That ball from Wilson is going to miss high and tight. So that's going to make you count now. 1-0. and oh. Your hometown station bringing you hometown events. Jack Ivy broadcasting. That ball's going to be hit hard. It's going to get down to second. It's going to be fielded by McDuffie. McDuffie throws. Gets the out at first. <laughs> so that's three. So the Panthers are going to leave one stranded as we move into the bottom of the sixth now. And region three, 4A baseball on a beautiful Monday afternoon. Now, Monday after Easter. The Animal Choice Vet Clinic in Iuka, Dr. Brad Nunley, Dr. Jennifer Tucker, Dr. Abigail Floyd and staff wish the best luck to the Braves. Like us on Facebook or call us at 662-423-2686. Burnsville Tire, Mr. Ethan Morris, is located there at 246 Highway 72 West in Burnsville. Home of the free lifetime rotation with the purchase of four tires. He has a certified advanced alignment front end technician they stock a variety of passenger and light truck tires from top brands, including Mastercraft, Firestone, Goodyear. We also have got all the specialty tires you need to get everything done. Choose from farm ATV, lawn and garden, or commercial tires for even the toughest of vehicles. Visit our repair shop. Get back on the road, 662-427-9308. Also, Cornerstone Insurance, your locally trusted in choice for independent insurance agent with a complete line of personal and commercial insurance products. Beth and her staff have 200 years experience. They've got locations in Iuka, Boonville, and Baldwin. Carmen Carley, attorney at law, estate planning, the small firm with a big heart. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 22. That's Jackson Moore. And that pitch is going to be high and outside for ball number one to Moore. Jackson's going to hit that ball, but it's going to be fouled down the th first baseline. So it's going to be a 1-1 one -one count here. One ball, one strike. To Jackson Moore. Batting in the number four spot. That pitch is going to miss outside and high, so it's going to be a one-two count. Morris hit to right field and left center. That pitch is going to be wide and outside, so it's going to be a three-one count. Here to Jackson Moore from Kai Dozier on the mound for the Panthers in a 10-3 ball game as we're in the bottom of the sixth. And that'll be ball four, so Jackson Moore draws the walk. So once again, the leadoff hitter for the Braves is on at first. And now coming to this plate is going to be number 27, and that young man is the one and only... Clint Pfeiffer, which means he will probably come in in relief pitching for Tate Wilson. And he steps to the plate here. He's got a runner down at first. 
and no outs in the bottom of the sixth. And it's number 27, Clint Pfeiffer. It's going to be a strike in the sweet spot. So it's going to be an 0-1 count here to Pfeiffer. No outs and runner down at first. And we appreciate you watching this afternoon. If you hadn't liked to share their broadcast or let us know how we're sounding and looking, we ask you to do so. And a big cut by Pfeiffer for strike number two. Runner goes, throw down the second. It's going to be high, and the runner will be in safe. Well, it's funny. I just told Jack I did it for a couple of years. So, yeah, I did it for a couple of years. But he's like... Randall, how many years have you been doing it now? I started I started the basketball season in 2010, and uh, my first football season was 2011. 2010 and 2011, Randall started with Jack. Well, he's been here a long time, and you know, Mr. Jerry Down, though he's no better than he was day one. Oh, he's still practicing, right? <laughs> he's still practicing. <laughs> we well, said Randall's still practicing. We're, we're kidding, Randall. Oh, Daryl says we sound great. Thanks, Daryl. <laughs> Randall does a great job for us there, and that's going to be a ball. The catcher's catch going to run it down, but not before the Braves runner gets down to third. So Jackson Moore is at third. Clint Pfeiffer here at the plate with two balls and two strikes and no out. He's going to hit that ball that's going to get in the gap out in the right field. So Clint Pfeiffer comes in and gets him an RBI single. And it'll give the Braves another run as the score is 11 to 3. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 23. That's going to be the designated hitter, Braylon Pitts, as Clint Pfeiffer entered the game for Jevin McDuffie. Pitch is hit to left field deep and right field today. And the first pitch will be a strike from Dozier on the mound. That pitch is going to miss wide and outside. So you count one and one. No outs for the runner at first here for... That ball's going to be hit hard down to third. It's going to get under the glove. So he's going to be on at first. So you got Braylon Pitts at first. You got Clint Pfeiffer in second. And coming to the plate is going to be number 10, the senior right fielder, Ashton Hall, with no outs. And they got a runner at second and first here in the bottom of the sixth. As the Braves are up 11-3 over the Panthers. That pitch is going to be outside for ball one. And that pitch is way outside for ball number two. Ball's going to be hit hard by Hall. It's going to be off the glove of the shortstop. And here comes the big band. Pfeiffer going to come in. They're going to bring Pitts also. Pitts coming in. A play hit to plate, but he's going to dive, slide. He's safe. But they're going to get the runner down at third. Now that's going to make your score 13-2-3. So, Coach, 
Austin Martin does a great job being aggressive on the bases as he knew he was going to score those, or try to score those two runs as that will be a win for the Braves here in Region 1 for a baseball against the 8th Amory Panthers here tonight on WRMG Television 12 and 97. Jack Ivey broadcasting. It's been my pleasure, David Leatherwood, to be with you tonight. Say good night, Randall. Good night, Randall. They said good night, Randall. So we're out of here. Thanks. We'll see you next time. God bless. Have a great night.